Hey, it's Aurelius. In this video, I'm going to share 10 useful Gmail extensions and add-ons that will change how you work with Gmail. With these Gmail extensions, instead of your inbox taking control of you, you'll take control of your inbox. Yay! You'll save time, become more productive, and potentially increase your sales as you'll soon find out in this video. Any extensions that I mention in this video, I will link up in the description box below, as well as timestamps to help you navigate through this video. So let's get started. Alrighty, so extension number one, who are also the sponsors of this video is called Write Inbox. The Write Inbox Gmail extension fills the gaps that Gmail is missing for marketers, salespeople, and other professionals alike. To get started with Write Inbox, simply click on install for free. That will take you to the extension store so you can install it. Write Inbox is compatible with Chrome, Firefox, and and Safari. Let's dive in a little and I'll show you how the email tracking feature works. What you do is you write your email as normal and at the bottom you'll see a bar. Now to enable email tracking, all you need to do is look for that eye icon and then we are going to click the drop down and then enable what we wanna track. Do you wanna track clicks or opens or both? You can simply enable both. And once you're ready, click on send. I've received the email as the recipient. So what I'm going to do is just give this a quick click. Going back to the Gmail account where I sent the email from, you'll now see the tick mark. And this means that this email has been opened and also clicked. The email tracking feature can be quite useful, especially if you're in sales or marketing. You wanna be able to follow up on those cold or warm leads and potential customers. So that way you can benchmark, track, and basically see where a customer is at in the customer journey. At the end of the day, it's all about return on investment. The next feature of Write Inbox that I wanna highlight is templates. At the top, you'll see a template. All you need to do is select the template that you want, these have already been created for you, but you can also create your own like what I did with the coaching call template. And with just one click, it will insert the template. Gmail does have a built-in templates feature. However, you do need to enable it in your settings, but I find it a lot more convenient by having this button that I can just click once and that'll insert any template I want. Perhaps one of the most powerful features that I find with Write Inbox is sequences. You'll find sequence right here and we can click on manage sequences to create a new sequence. With sequences, you can preload emails and then have those emails sent out based on actions. For instance, let's say you wanna create a sequence so that it will follow up on cold leads. You add a subject line, write your first follow-up email where it says send email if, you can select the trigger. So no reply to email, email not opened, or link not opened. Let's say you don't get a reply and you can set how long the duration, how long should write inbox wait. Next, you can add a follow-up message, write your email, and then set your trigger. This would be follow-up email number two, but this time let's say email not opened after one week. To activate your sequence, all you need to do is write your initial email and then click on sequence. You can confirm the sequence is enabled by simply hovering over sequence and you'll see when that follow-up message will be sent. In terms of the pricing of Write Inbox, there are some free features as well as paid features. You'll see with email tracking on the free plan, you can send up to five emails per month. You can create up to five templates max. And the sequences feature is not available on the free plan. You do need to upgrade. On top of the three tools I've talked about, Write Inbox also offers email scheduling, email reminders, and recurring emails, just to name a few. They'll also be launching Mail Merge early next year. But give it a go, install Write Inbox. Again, it works with Chrome, Safari, and Firefox. Let's talk about the next Gmail extension, and that's called Gmail Tabs. You can go to gmailtabs.com, install the Gmail Tabs extension. With Gmail Tabs, you can create custom tabs, just like what you see here. Let's say you wanna create a new tab for social. We can simply click the ellipsis. You'll see an option to add to tabs, so click that once. And now you see the new tab added. What's more, you can actually add search terms to your tabs. Let's say you wanna add an email to your tabs, you search it, then you'll see an option to add to tabs. And now you see it's added. You can also edit the tab name by right-clicking, click on edit, renaming, even giving it a different color. When I save it, you'll see now it's taken effect. You'll save a heap of time using Gmail tabs because you'll no longer have to go and do those manual searches or browse through your entire inbox just to find that particular category or recipient. Let's talk about the next Gmail extension, which is called Simplify. As described on the Simplify website, you can see what it does. It makes hundreds of improvements, small and large, to streamline, simplify, and enhance Gmail's design and functionality. It also blocks over 250 email spy trackers. You can add intuitive keyboard shortcuts, adding full dark mode and so much more. Once you've installed Simplify and go back to your Gmail account, you'll see that your inbox looks quite 
clean, it's minimalist. You'll see that it's removed a lot of clutter and unnecessary features. However, you can enable and disable certain features if you want. Going to the simplified Gmail options, you'll see that you can change things like the message font to a different size, different font face. You can customize the conversation list, composing messages, the navigation, and enabling keyboard shortcuts. Let's say you wanna change the font size, simply click font size, and then we are going to select something like 20, just to exaggerate it a bit. When you're composing a new email, you can see the new font size. And when receiving emails, the main body email will show that new size. Simplify is free to try out. However, it is a paid tool and it starts from $2 per month billed annually. Next up, in terms of security, there's a Gmail extension called Flowcrypt. Flowcrypt allows you to send and receive emails securely. So if you wanna send confidential emails or if you wanna attach sensitive information, that's where Flowcrypt comes in. Simply install the Flowcrypt extension. Once it's installed, all you need to do is create a passphrase. So they'll guide you on how to do that. And once that's done, you'll see a new button called Secure Compose. Click that once, write your email as normal. If the recipient doesn't have Flowcrypt installed, then you can simply add a password. Look down below and you can set a password for this particular email. So I'll use the infamous password password. And what it's suggesting is to send that particular password elsewhere, not in Gmail, of course. And all that's left to do is to click the encrypt sign and send button. This is what the recipient will see. It'll say this message is encrypted and click on open message. Flowcrypt will ask for a password because we've set a password of password. We can then decrypt it. And now we can read the email. From here, the recipient can send an encrypted reply, type their email and then send a secure reply. Flowcrypt is completely free to use for up to 100 users. The next Gmail extension on this list is called Checker Plus. Checker Plus displays new emails and senders contact info where available so that you can get notifications or even listen read or delete them without opening Gmail. It also supports multiple accounts so you can get notifications from all of those accounts. In Chrome, Checker Plus sits at the top bar and you can check multiple accounts as you can see here. It offers a whole range of options for you to customize such as the notifications, you can turn on notification sounds, even the voice notifications. There's a do not disturb feature and a number of other options. Based on what I can see on the website, Checker Plus is a completely free Gmail extension. On the other side of the spectrum, if you don't wanna be disturbed by email, then this next tool will be helpful. It's called Inbox When Ready. You can lock your inbox by hiding, scheduling, and even setting a budget of the number of times you can check your inbox. Here are the options of Inbox When Ready. You can set the frequency and enable hidden by default altogether. You can also set inbox auto hide. Simply set the number of minutes of inactivity and then your inbox will be hidden after that duration. And check this out, they've even got a thing called impulse check where you can enable the number of times you can check your inbox per day. So let's say 10 times per day. And what should happen if you exceed this limit? You can set a 15 second delay, a minute or five minutes or warn me. Under time, you can set a time budget. Enabling it, you'll see an example of how it works right here where it says you've seen your inbox four times today. It was visible for 35 minutes. You can also set a schedule, enabling the inbox lockout schedule, setting the days, the start and end time, even adding multiple times. Well, let's say we can't check out emails between 4 a.m. to 5 p.m. and save changes. Going into my Gmail account, you'll see the inbox is locked and you'll see the next unlock is at 5 p.m. If you find yourself refreshing your inbox and simply can't help it, then this extension will be quite handy for you. It is a free extension. However, they do offer a pro plan starting from $4 per month paid annually. This next Gmail extension is quite a fun one. If you're one who likes to add emojis, uh, GIFs and GIFs, as some people like to call it, then this next tool will be handy. It's offered by Giphy themselves. Some people, again, like to call it Jiffy, but you know, I don't wanna start with that argument. Simply install Giphy from the Chrome Web Store. The next time you're composing a new email, you see the Giphy icon right down the bottom. Open it up and then start typing whatever it is that you wanna add. Let's say coffee, we can add this one. And as simple as that, you've added your GIF. I will say that Write Inbox already has this feature built in. You can see right here, add GIF, and it is powered by Giphy anyway. This next extension will allow you to listen to your emails rather than read your emails. And this tool is called Speechify. Speechify isn't limited to just reading out your emails. It'll read out your documents, articles, and even pieces on social media. Once you've installed Speechify, you'll see the play button. Clicking once will read out loud your email. Hello. 
This is a test email. Kind regards, Aurelius Chen. Just like that, Speechify is free with a paid plan offering you more choices in terms of the different voices and accents that you can choose from. The next Gmail extension is Zoom for Gmail. Everyone knows what Zoom is, the conferencing app, but with the Zoom for Gmail extension, once you've installed it, you can start your Zoom meeting straight inside Gmail. You'll see the icon right here where it says Zoom for Gmail. Click that once and with any Zoom meeting invitations that you receive, you can click on start a meeting. So you and any other guest can start a Zoom meeting instantly without having to leave Gmail. So there's no friction there. Okay, with this next tool, you'll get a comprehensive breakdown of your email conversation. It's called Email Meter, and it does more than just give you a breakdown of your email conversation. It's also an analytics and email statistics tool. So you can get a detailed report of your email productivity, your workload and response times. On the right, you'll see the email meter add-on. Clicking that once will give you detailed information of your email conversation. Under thread details, you see the first message, the last message, and where available, the social media profiles of those users. On the back end of email meter, you'll see the report, messages sent, recipients, average response time, messages received, senders, and all this other information that may help you in terms of managing your email productivity, as well as optimizing your usage in terms of spending time on email. Email Meter is free to get general email statistics as well as monthly and weekly reports. They also have a pay plan giving you more data. So that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you found at least one Gmail extension that you'll be installing today. And if you are, let me know in the comments down below which of those Gmail extensions you'll be installing. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, then you're going to like one of these videos right here. So go ahead, watch those next and I'll see you there.